Play Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire by Frank Sinatra. The Christmas Song, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire by Frank Sinatra from Apple Music. Roasting on an open fire, nipping at your nose. I need to switch my mugs from Halloween mugs to Christmas mugs. All my Christmas ones. I have so many mugs. I love mugs. I have a problem. I did forget. I mean, I always forget how many mugs I actually do have. I tend to buy one or two new ones every year because I have a mug addiction. Like, I just love collecting mugs as you can tell from this entire cupboard like the whole cupboard is full i have all my fall ones down here so i'm gonna move these ones up to the top put all my christmas ones here i have some winter mugs as well so these are more wintry the blue and like they kind of actually match and the brown snowflakes like these scream winter to me so these ones i tend to save for january february all the other ones are pretty christmasy i really need a better way to organize my tea because it's kind of just everywhere here's how the mugs are looking now these these ones usually always go in my coffee bar so i'm just leaving them there for now then the rest of my mugs are back there so there's gonna be two empty spaces here and then i also have the little espresso christmas ones up there those go in the coffee bar as well all my halloween ones see you next year i don't know if this is weird i don't think it's gross because coffee doesn't really go bad but i do save a few pods from the christmas and espressos so that as soon as it's november 1st i don't have to worry about are there christmas ones going to be out yet are they available yet for me to purchase i don't need to worry because i saved some from last year because on november 1st i'm like give me the peppermint give me everything peppermint it's 7 30. i'm waiting for the source to open because obviously home sense is not open at this hour <gasps> which mug am i gonna <laughs> And for the haters who are gonna be like, it's too early. Can we just, can we just let people do whatever they want? If you think it's too early for you, I totally get it. You're like, I need to wait until American Thanksgiving's over or something. Us Canadians, we already had Thanksgiving in October. The next thing for us is Christmas. And I know people do mention Remembrance Day too. And I don't quite understand the argument. Like I get the argument of you need to respect Remembrance Day. Of course, I completely understand that. I'm not trying to disrespect it. From my viewpoint, I don't see how using a Christmas mug is being disrespectful to Remembrance Day. Like, I don't think me using a mug that's Christmassy has anything to do with how much I would respect Remembrance Day. Does that make sense? And I don't want to offend anyone. And please tell me if I'm being ignorant or if I'm being, I don't know, if I'm being rude or triggering anyone, please let me know because I would love to be educated on to how the two things correlate. But let me know your viewpoint because I do want to know. This is this can be an open conversation about this. But I personally find that the winter months are very hard for me. And the way that I have been able to not be depressed all winter in Canada is by romanticizing everything. I romanticize my whole life. That's why I like to start Christmas early because I like to romanticize it and it's just a mental health thing for me. So that's where I'm coming from. I didn't mean for this to be an entire conversation. I'm just trying to pick a mug. I decided on this mug today. It's Max from the Grinch. And my dad got me this mug for Christmas. So it just holds a special little place in my heart. And I love the shape of it. This is so satisfying to me and the size of it is perfect. This is our first mug of the Christmas season. I don't know why I'm not liking this one right now. I used to, I loved this one last year. I need to just drink more of it because confused. Oh my God, the lighting. I always have my lights off in my office and then I film with my blinds open, but because it's getting so dark in the mornings, we actually have daylight savings this weekend, but it's so dark. I had to turn on my overhead lights i never turn these on in my office does this look weird because i feel like everything looks so weird and i'm suddenly really overwhelmed by the amount of clutter in here which i never noticed until all the lights were on it just feels i feel like there's stuff everywhere 
I'm not necessarily gonna decorate for Christmas today. That seems like that's a lot of things to do in one day, but we're definitely gonna go shopping and I'm definitely gonna put away some of my Halloween decor because I don't know if any, I mean, I've, I'm sure a lot of people are like this, but the second the holiday happens, it needs to get out of my brain. I'm done with it. So Halloween is done. I'm so done. <laughs> the same thing with Christmas. As soon as Christmas is over, I'm like, I do not want to see another Christmas tree until next year. Get rid of it. I don't know what it is. The day after I'm like, please, I can't stand to look at this stuff. So I do want to clear out my office from the Halloween items this morning until the stores open. Oh, my arm is burning. Just lighting. I hope it's not as bad when I put on my computer, but looking at this, I feel like I'm in a hospital. Oh my gosh, my bookshelf is gonna give me an aneurysm. I have two random Christmas trees on here. These are actually the first items of decor I bought for this year. How cute are these? I got them at Loblaws or Canadian Superstore, same thing, but they're little ceramic trees. I wanna put these in the bathroom, I think, or I could put them on my bookshelf. I need to get rid of all the pumpkins. Look at the clash I have happening in this chair. Can you see it? My Christmas blanket that I bought at Indigo is on here, but I have a jack-o'-lantern. I do love this, and I almost debated keeping it out year-round, but then that takes away some of the excitedness or specialness, you know, when you take it out every year. I really liked having him in here with me. First things first, I need an ambiance. <laughs> okay, that's definitely real blurry, because it's from an old... Do you see it? It's the little skaters from Charlie Brown. Aww, and then there's just jazz music in the background. I love Charlie Brown. <sighs> I'm sad to put him away. It is so creepy that I'm holding it like this. Oh my God. Okay, but I'm actually, I love having little skeletons out. Oh, he's crossing his legs. Stop that. Dude, are your hips okay? I fear they're not. Like, look at his feet. Anyways, I'm gonna miss him. I'm crazy. <laughs> okay. The only thing I don't put away, which you guys know by now, not me holding him by the throat, my Jack Skeleton, my celebrity crush, if you will. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to get into that, but he stays out and I just put a Santa hat on him. Oh, my bookshelf looks cute. I need to get another one soon, girl. I have an hour till stores open and I, I fear I'm gonna take down the coffee bar. I'm not gonna do any decorating, but I think I just wanna clean. I think I wanna clean everything. This video is turning into a cleaning video. We're doing a take down fall, clean with me, and shop for Christmas. It's a prep. It's a Christmas prep video. I think I need to... I can't only take half the stuff. To... I, have to... I have to do it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I simply must. Hi, see you next year. Will you be even better? This is definitely my best fall coffee bar I've done so far. Oh, I'm gonna miss her. But you know what? All good things come to an end. So, and when one door closes, another door opens, AKA we're making room for the Christmas coffee bar that's gonna be just the best. Bye, love ya. sort of Christmas sign like this. Having this was so nice to cover all the cables. So I need to find, note to self, look for this today, something like that. I simply cannot have this now that I'm used to having a sign there. That is so satisfying. <sighs> there is something different about the clean after putting away seasonal decor. Everything feels so much fresher and oh, it's so satisfying. So everything's put away, everything's in the basement now. Coffee bar, empty, office, empty. And I'm gonna have breakfast and then we're gonna go to HomeSense and we're gonna see what Christmas stuff I can find. 
we're here. I'm at home since. I have butterflies. I'm so excited. There's a Spirit Halloween right beside HomeSense, and I saw on an Instagram post that Spirit Halloween is gonna turn into a holiday store this year. I really hope that's true, because that is so fun. Also, one more thing before I go in. I am not saying that you guys need to buy new Christmas decor, Halloween decor, fall decor every single year. I am not saying you need to do that, and I don't want you to feel pressured like you need to decorate or like you need to buy all these new things. I just have a very deep passion for my seasonal coffee bar. If I didn't do the seasonal coffee bar, I probably would not buy nearly as many decorations ever. I know it's an overconsumption problem. I'm fully aware. I, I'm over consuming. I'm sorry. <sighs> I do want to thrift this year. I want to go see if I can find maybe some thrifted items at the thrift store. I was thinking that on the way here that I should have gone there first. However, there's not one near here, so I'm gonna have to do that a different day, but I do wanna check out the thrifted decor and see what they have. I'm just gonna go in. Just don't be mad at me, okay? I'm back. It's been a few hours. Let me show you everything I got. Honestly, there's been better. There has been better years. I feel like fall and Halloween, the decor was so much better, especially at Michael's. Michael's had nothing in the Christmas realm. I only bought one thing for Michael's because I mean two things, but one of them was just wrapping paper. If you want garland, absolutely go to Michael's because basically all they had was two aisles of garland. I didn't need to buy that much stuff anyway, relax. So I will show you what I did get. I know we went to HomeSense first, but I'm gonna show you the Michael's stuff just because I only got the two things. These count as one thing, but I got this wrapping paper. I love a vintagey look with wrapping paper and I really liked the little trucks and the snowflakes. So this is gonna be my wrapping paper this year. This is my theme. Michael's also had a lot of buy one, get one free items. And this is one of those items. So I got these kind of droopy little branches, but I love this shade of green and I find they actually look really realistic. Something like this is so good for the coffee bar or even my bookshelf. I really like having this type of thing available and I, I like the drapiness. And then Home Sense, if I had gone to Michael's first, I'm not sure I would have still bought this. I do really like it though. And I'm sure like I might put this on my bookshelf. It might look really cute, but I bought this garland. I just find it looks quite realistic and I like the, I don't know, I like the texture of it. I like there's these little like almost baby pine cones or berries. I don't even really know what they are. But I don't know. I could put it on my bookshelf. Cute. Like originally I was thinking I was going to drape it across the coffee bar. What gave me the idea is having that chain on the coffee bar this year. I thought I could just drape this but I did buy those kind of like dangly ones. So maybe I'll put this on my bookshelf because I feel like that would actually look really cute. I'm putting it in my hair like that. And this is it. I just got one little bag of stuff. Look at these candlesticks. They only had one. They're green and they have bows. They had a red one, but the bows were gold. It's so cute. I've never had a fancy candlestick like that. I always just have white or black. I never have a fun one. 
The mug selection was terrible. Which honestly is probably good because I don't need any more mugs, but it was horrible. They barely had any Christmas ones. What I got at home since was four houses. They're all different. So they don't all look like this one. But the reason I wanted these ones is because I want to do more of a village on my coffee bar this year. I, I just love the idea of a village. And the ones I have now, I think I only have a few like random ones. Everything I have now is light up. Whereas the ones I bought specifically are the tea light ones. I wanted ones that you could actually put candles in. I'm so excited. Should I just take them all out right now? No, you know what? I'll keep you in suspense. You'll see it when I do the coffee bar. I just don't want to unwrap them and have them sitting out in my office and having my office feel cluttered, you know? So I'm gonna leave them all wrapped up. But I did buy four little tea light houses. And that's all I got at home since. So I just got ceramic houses and greenery, basically. That was the only decor I got this year. Aren't you proud of me? I didn't really get that much stuff. That's the haul. Um, okay. Here, I feel really far away from me. I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I just wanted it to be a little shop with me, prep for Christmas video. I think we're gonna be doing the coffee bar in the next video. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my holiday coffee bar reveal. And I'm gonna be posting a lot this Christmas season. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. It might even mean Vlogmas. So definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Cause I'm gonna be posting so much, it's gonna be crazy. I hope you guys are as excited as me for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.